At the Los Angeles Biomedical Research Institute at UCLA, Dr. Matthew Budoff has been a leader in using CT technology for early detection of heart disease. Now, his newest research has confirmed the long-held belief that garlic is beneficial for heart health and overall wellness. Dr. Budoff tells us that garlic has been used for centuries. Garlic has been used since the ancient Olympics. It was originally a performance enhancer, so going back to, to the Greeks and, and the ancient performers. And ever since then, there's been purported benefits of garlic. It lowers cholesterol, it lowers blood pressure, it lowers, uh, improves vascular health, makes the blood vessels healthier. So it's had a lot of proof of concept. And what we've been doing over the past 10 years or so is validating its effect on the plaque itself in the heart, the atherosclerosis, to see if it can slow down the process or maybe even reverse heart disease. Research has indicated that garlic is beneficial for heart health. So the studies showed the first three looked at coronary calcium and endothelial health, how, how healthy is the blood vessel, and it showed a very nice consistent benefit. It slowed plaque buildup by about 60% and it, it improved the blood vessel health, made the blood vessels more pliable, more flexible, um, just healthier. The fourth study, we looked at soft plaque. We did a more advanced study called a non-invasive angiogram or CT angiogram, where we actually injected dye into the artery while we took the pictures. And now we can see stenosis and we can see the softer earlier plaque. And we literally saw some of the softer earlier plaque go away with garlic therapy. So literally we saw a reversal of heart disease to a minor extent over the course of a year. Dr. Budoff outlines the ways to incorporate garlic into your diet. There's a number of garlic preparations that you can buy in pill formulation, and then there's also, of course, natural garlic. Natural garlic, of course, is great for you, but comes with some side effects. Uh, the odor, the uh, inability to know if what happens when you cook it or slice it or dice it, if we're losing some of the active compounds. So at least for clinical research, the data's been much cleaner using these pill preparations of garlic. I chose aged garlic extract for two reasons. One, they had a great body of evidence and they have a very consistent manufacturing technique. So the amount of milligrams it says on the pill is the amount of milligrams that the patients are getting. And two, it's odorless. So I can't sniff the person and decide if they're on garlic or not. So I remain blinded to when I do my research. How much garlic is too much? Too much is probably defined more by your significant other than by uh, your body. If uh, you're smelling like a garlic clove, you've probably had too much. But in general, we don't know about garlic toxicity. I don't know if you can have too much from a standpoint of, of cardiovascular disease. Having said that, we don't want to go crazy because if you have excessive amounts of anything, we typically get more side effects and less benefits. So just the traditional approach of medications is moderation is key and more is not always better. As far as the aged garlic extract, what we've studied in, in our trials is 1,000 milligrams to 2,400 milligrams a day. So those are two to four capsules a day over the course of a year um, in, in four different studies. Dr. Budoff and his team have been surprised by garlic's effects. Worked well and we were very uh, pleasantly surprised with the uh, results. We weren't, we weren't looking for reversal. We were hoping that it would slow the plaque. And, and when we, when we uh, analyzed all the data, compared to placebo, there was literally a reversal of plaque. 